Uh, the question now is uh, 2017 May June paper 1 2 and the uh, question number is 7. So it says a rubber ball is dropped onto a table and bounces back up. So uh, if we have the table surface here what it says is rubber ball uh, comes here and then bounces back head on. The table exerts a force F on the table uh, on the ball so the table exerts a force F like this. So we have to find which graph best shows the variation with time t of the force f for the short time that the ball is in contact with the table. So we have to find the uh, nature of variation of the force. So let's uh, realize that before the bounce, before the bounce, there was no force. That means force should be zero in the very beginning. So the graphs which match the category are only choice number A and choice number C. Before the bounce, the force is zero. And after the bounce finishes, the force is again zero. So at the start force is zero and uh, at the end force is zero, that is made only by the category C. So in other uh, places, they don't fulfill the criteria. So uh, during the bounce, during the bounce, the force is high. So what happens is, let us say uh, the ball has just touched the ground at that time force was just zero as the ball goes on compressing like this as the ball goes in compressing like this the force increases increases and then it reaches the minimum uh, minimum height then it starts to again expand when it starts to expand then the force start to decrease and when it fully expands and rises up the force becomes zero so that's why choice number C is the best choice for this question.